Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good. We have started a new topic that is soil. And today's period we are going to learn about types of soil. Soil is different in color, size of particles and amount of air and water. There are mainly three types of soil. Clay soil, sandy soil and loamy soil. So today we are going to see these three types of soil. So number first is clay soil. It mostly consists clay. Particles of this soil are very fine and small. They are smooth and sticky. So mostly potters are using this type of soil to make pots and tongs. Clay soil is not good for plants to grow because its particles are very fine so they does not allow air to pass through it but it can hold a lot of water because water cannot pass through the particles easily. Number two that is sandy soil. It mostly consists sand. The particles size is very large. There is a lot of air in the spaces between its larger particles but it cannot hold much water because the space between its particles they allow water to pass through it so very few plants are able to grow in a sandy soil mostly find sandy soil in desert area and also on seashores Plants like cactus, dates are able to grow in such type of soil. Now the third type of soil that is loamy soil which is good for plants to grow. It contains both sand and clay particles. It consists a lot of humus and can hold both air and water. Therefore it is very good for growing plants. It is good for growing crops. So what we have learned today? We have learned there are mostly three types of soils. Soil is different in color, particle size and amount of air and water. First we have learned about clay soil. Its particles are very fine, smooth and sticky. It is used by potter to make pots and toys. It can hold a lot of water but it does not hold air. Number two that is sandy soil. It mostly consists sand. Particles of sandy soils are large. It holds a lot of air but it cannot hold much water. Number three that is loamy soil. Loamy soil it consists a lot of humus which is good for growing plants. Also, it can hold both air and water which is good for plants. Okay, now give you words that many words you have to copy in your note. Also, recite them and find from the lesson and underline it. So, number one is sand. Number two is clay. Number three, loam. Number four, amount. Number five, space. And number six, hold. Okay, so write this all once you are done. Also read the lesson properly. 